Now, in this video, we will talk about the customer retention rate. What is it? So basically, for example, you have total 1000 customers who have visited the store, out of which 20 visited the store just once and 980 are your repeat customer. So retention rate is 980 divided by 1000, right? This is the concept. Now we will uh, have a look at it without X also, then we will do it with X. So I'm plotting a matrix because I want to figure out the retention rate for customers. I am taking customer ID, order ID, taking the order ID values, and then I will take the distinct count of order IDs. It means this customer ID or this customer has placed five orders. Now I'm going to filter pane and adding a filter on count of order ID where I'm saying where this is less than or equal to one. So basically I have total 13 customers who have visited the store just once, they never come back, right? 13. Now, what is the total head count of the customer? So I'm taking, taking a row card and distinct count of customer ID. So basically it means 793 customers are the total customers in this store. So 793 minus 13, it means 780 customers are my repeat customer and retention rate would be 780 divided by 793. Now, how to solve it using measure? That is the question. So first measure we will write distinct count of orders is equal to distinct count of fact tables order ID, right? So this is giving me the distinct count. So basically I'm talking about the second column of the table or matrix, which I would be using as a filter in another major, right? Now I'm writing my final major, which is retention rate. So this would be giving me the retention rate. What I'm doing, I'm creating a sub table using the filter function where I will do group by of group by of fact table on the basis of what? Here, uh, on the basis of which column we have done the group by customer ID, right? And what is the criteria? The criteria is distinct count of orders is greater than one because we want to find out the number of customers who are my repeat customers. So I'm, I'm targeting 780 out of this. Now I will count the rows. So ideally, it would be replying to me or it will be giving me the answer 780. Now I will divide it with the distinct count of customers. I can take it from customer table as well or fact table as well, right? So when I'm doing this, dividing it, so ideally uh, it is doing 780 divided by 793. When I'm taking a row card and plotting my retention rate, it is giving me 0.98. So what I will do, I will click on this and convert it into a percentage because in the formula I have not done multiplied by 100. So now retention rate is 98.36%, right? So this is how you can calculate it in a single figure and show it using a row card through a major. If you, can, if you want to calculate this manually also, you can do that, but that will not be dynamic, right? So to make everything dynamic in your report, in your dashboard, you have to use major. Otherwise, if you do not want to show the same in your report, in your dashboard, you just want to calculate it for your understanding, you can do it in Excel also. You can do it without major also, like you are aware, 793 minus 13, 780, and you can divide it with, by 793 manually and you got the answer. But that cannot be shown on report and dashboard and that will not be a dynamic. So this is the usefulness of majors that you can incorporate a lot of dynamic figures finally in your final report.